Hey everybody, it's Legend again. Today I thought I'd share one of my favorite hobbies with you, which is designing knives. I love knives. I'm a knife nut. Always have been, always will be. I'm one of the rare people you'll meet who loves knives better than guns, or just about anything else other than tomahawks. I really love those, but that's because they have a sharp edge like a knife. Anyway, here are two I've done in the past. This one right here is my Mini Hunter. It has an elephant leather sheath on the outside. On the inside it has kangaroo leather for durability. It has retention with rare earth magnets, which you don't see a lot. There's some embedded in the sheath here. And right there on this part which attaches to your belt. That way it holds it in on there and the knife. So you can see it'll stick to the knife quite readily. Good retention just sitting on that. The knife is made out of CPM 10V. It's got jimping on top. It's made for skinning primarily. It has a wider handle for comfort. That's made out of koa wood, which only grows two places in the world. It grows in like Colombia and then Hawaii. The one in Hawaii is the high grade, which is what this is. You can see all the burl in it. It's very pretty. That it has nothing to do with the finish. That's just the wood sanded up. It has nickel silver pins, a paracord box knot on the back. It has a little choil. It's just a very comfortable knife, and I like this one. Let me go ahead and show you the other one, which I call the Legend Knife. This one is the first one I've ever done. It has a micarta handle, kydex sheath. Had a guy make the sheath for me, I didn't make that. It has a fire still up top, which you push here, and that actually releases the fire still. It has magnesium, ferrocium, and then a flint rod. You can see the custom engraving on it, legend. This one was designed to do many tasks. And it is a little beat up right now because I've used it a lot. This was the first knife I've ever used with S35VN. It has a good heat treat on it to about 60. You can see the recurve I designed. It was designed for fighting and utility. So just call it a fighter utility blade. It does have my prototype thing on here. Let's see where it's at. There it is. The P1, which means prototype 1. It has Chicago style screws on it. You can see it has one of the nicest little recurves on it that I've seen. It just looks stylish. You can see jimping right here, so you can choke up on it right here. And use it. It has a choil, so you can jump up on that. It has this, so you can't over penetrate if you're pushing it into something. Right here it has jimping if you want to skin with it. And then of course it has jimping in the reverse grip right here. Very comfortable knife. I really like it. I just think it's really cool. And that S35VN really works. You can really beat on it. But anyway, those are just two of the past. Right now I'm designing a third besides the Tomahawk that I'm doing, which I haven't shown you guys yet in any of my videos. So anyway, to get started, all you got to do is get a piece of paper and you get a doodle over and over and over again until you get a design you semi-like. And this one, I pretty much do. I did that on my Ride in the Rain notebook. You can see I drew out where the paracord hole will be, the handle shape. This right here is supposed to be a thumb detent, so you can push on the side grip, which the Legend Knife has as well. I didn't show you that. You can see how it's recessed down right there, so you can do a good side draw cut. You can see the belly on this knife. It's going to have jumping as well, and it's going to be like a medium sized knife, just a fixed blade. So, anyway, after you get done drawing that, you take it over to something more tangible that won't bend on you as much and you move over to cardboard. And that's what I do. And you can see you kind of change the design to make it work for you off and on. Sorry about the camera, it's doing weird stuff here because of the background. But yeah, you can see you change a lot of things and you make it fit your hand. So it fits a lot better, which is what I do. And then you move on to something a little even better. This is balsa wood. Let me Zoom out for you. Easy to work with. You can design stuff. You kind of just do a mock-up of it. You make it fit your hand even better. And see, I just drew in where the jimping is going to be because I didn't see the point in putting that in to balsa wood. It'll just tear it up. But you draw your lines. You make it even. You can see how I made it just like a knife would be without the sharp edge. You can see the little choil on this. I think I'm going to make it out of 3 16 A2 bar stock see the little hole there for the paracord. It's just going to be a really comfy knife and it'll be 
a mid-range size compared to the other two I've done. It'll fit right in the middle. It'll be more of a bushcraft EDC knife that you can carry on you all the time. But yeah guys, that's how you pretty much start building and designing a knife. The next step would be to go get your bar stock or whatever you're going to use, if you're going to forge it or whatever, and you start cutting it out of that and working it down. Then of course it comes to the heat treat and stuff like that. But this is as far as I am on this one right now. Probably within a month or two this will be done. It's a slow process, but I like doing it the right way. Anyway guys, I just wanted to share this with you. So rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Oh wait, you guys should tell me some of your hobbies and do video responses and share that with me. I wanted to get that point across before I started the video and I forgot. Anyway, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.